Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I like to rehab a biceps repair uh, after surgery. It's going to happen in three phases. The first two weeks, the second four weeks, the third six weeks. Okay. Okay, so the first two weeks, when you go, there's really only three exercises I care about. Number one is I want you to go home and I want you to lie in bed like you see uh, Olivia doing here. And when you lie on your side, you got to put a pillow underneath your elbow. Otherwise, you will hyperextend your shoulder. It'll be very uncomfortable after surgery. So you put a pillow beneath your arm like you see here. And everything is with your thumbs up like you see here, okay? And the first two weeks, you're going to do passive range of motion, which means you're going to have somebody, your husband, your boyfriend, your whoever, somebody at home, take your arm. And the key thing is to keep the, the one hand underneath the elbow underneath the arm, above the elbow, and the other hand gently cupping the forearm like this. And then you're going to take the arm, you're going to do it just like this with the thumbs up, and you're going to gently move the shoulder like this, okay? Yeah. You're just gently going to keep it limber, and you're not trying to hurt yourself, you're just trying to go to where it's comfortable. And day one will be different than day three, and then different than day five. And you just, okay. You're just trying to get more and more range of motion each day, okay? And, and if it gets sore, you can go ahead and relax. If it gets sore, take a day off. It's not a big deal, especially in the first two weeks. Okay. You're going to do the same exercise, and this time you're going to do actively, which means you're going to do it, not, not with having somebody else do it. And so go ahead, Olivia, and you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to go as far as you can go. That's right. That's comfortable. And you're going to keep going. And people will ask me, how many times do I do it? Well, you do it as many as it's comfortable. All right, and that should be a moving target. Each time you do it, it should be more and more reps, you know, uh, every couple of days, okay? That's, that's what you do starting at two weeks. You convert from passive range of motion where somebody else is doing it to active range of motion, all right? This week is what I call mirror exercises. So, again, the thumbs are forward. You're going to go and raise it yourself. And this is where you're going to do it. And the key thing is you're going to avoid bad movement patterns where – See how the elbow is facing down? You're not going to try. You're going to try not to do this kind of stuff. A lot of you guys have bad movement patterns from having a bad shoulder for a long time. You're going to keep it where you got normal movement patterns, like you see Olivia doing here. Okay, you got this. Good. Finally, after you've done that for about uh, uh, four to six weeks, okay, you're going to move to what we call the Fabulous Six. The Fabulous Six is a strengthening program I have online. The link is here below. Okay. And I want you to start easy. Again, there's not a magical number of reps. There's not a magical number of weight. If I get a five foot person and a six foot five person, they're different numbers. The point is start low, listen to your body, and you'll stay out of trouble. Okay, you do that exercise program, the Fabulous Six, for six weeks. After that, do what you want.